This is Portland, Oregon, in the Pacific Northwest. This is the type of weather you can expect from Portland. This is a sunny day. This is a windy day. This is a stormy day. This is a really, really stormy day. This is Columbia Sportswear Company, where they design, build, and test products for days like that in Portland for people that enjoy mountaintops, river trips, skiing, camping, climbing, surfing, fishing, running. <sighs> anyway, this is Gert Boyle, chairman of Columbia Sportswear. Gert is commonly referred to as Ma Boyle. Oh, I hate that Ma stuff. Or one tough mother. The tough mother? Well, that I don't mind. Her favorite part about living in the Pacific Northwest is the weather. It's the perfect testing ground for Columbia's products. The only thing she loves more than the weather is her son, Tim. This is Tim. He is the most handsome, incredible, intelligent person. He's my son. What the hell? What am I going to say? Tim's a sportsman. Continue with her out. He's also a good sport. When Gert wanted to test a product, really test it, she called Tim. We have differences sometimes. Gert once put Tim through a car wash. Tim was hesitant. I voted against that. What better person to tell you that your product is good than your mother? Together, Tim and Gert produced and tested, and the more they tested, the more improvements and discoveries they made. If and only if a piece of gear passed all these tests, would Gert give it her legendary seal of approval. This was Gert's guarantee that a product was tested tough against every type of terrible, no good, day ruining, pain inducing, career ending condition the skies of the mighty Pacific Northwest will dish out. 20 years later, and Gert is still at it. It's perfect. Now make it better. This is the command handed down by Gert. Sure, it makes life hell for Columbia employees, but it means great gear for you. To this day, when customers see Gert's iconic, tested, tough stamp of approval, they know they're duly equipped to stay outside, long after the featherweights have retreated indoors. So, what's next for Columbia? I don't know. Well, Gert certainly isn't going anywhere. At 91, she still gets up to go to work and keep the tested, tough ethos alive at Columbia. Yes, I do. Early to bed, early to rise, work like hell and advertise. She also had to be here for this interview. Thanks, Gert. Tested tough in the Pacific Northwest.